Good morning, children. Welcome to science class. So, in science, we are learning block twenty three, which is Earth, Moon, and Sun. Yes. So, we have learned about Earth. That is shape of the Earth, rotation of the Earth, revolution of the Earth, isn't it? And because of Sun, we have different seasons, different day and night. We have, and also we are having different seasons because. of the sun and the earth isn't it because of the tilt and rotation and rotation on its own axis and revolving around the sun we are having seasons and days and nights isn't it we have learned about earth and sun like that yes now we have to go learn about the moon which is our fourth topic phases of the moon okay so please open your science content book children and turn to page number 144 Yes, so there you can see the moon. Okay, as you all know, Earth revolves around the sun, isn't it? In the same way, the moon also revolves around the Earth. Okay, like this. So this is your moon. This is your Earth. So moon also revolves around the sun like this. Okay, and this moon does not have lights of its own. sun has its own light okay from that only we are getting the heat and light from the sun but moon does not have but how it gets light it only bounces back the light that receives from the sun from sun it receives some light and that light is bounced back to the space in that we can see that light of the moon okay so the part of the moon that gets light from the sun is visible to us so fr see from here you are getting the sunlight isn't it so as it is sunlight falling on this so only the part which we can see is the part which it receives the sunlight the other part we don't we can't see okay the other parts we can't see so see here the it is falling here so only this part we can find it is away this part is away from the sun that's why we can't see it and when this moon comes in between the earth and the sun we cannot see that moon okay that's why it is said as it is called as new moon moon or no moon okay we can't see it okay it is invisible at that time so that's why we say no moon or new moon okay when earth is in between here earth is in between the sun and the moon then you can see the full moon that's why it is said that it we call it call that night as full moon night or full moon day okay children so in that way and we have learned that this moon revolves around the earth isn't it children so this moon takes almost 29 days to complete one revolution around the earth okay it takes 29 days to start from here to complete one complete rotation it takes 29 days for earth for earth it takes 365 days isn't it children to complete one revolution around the sun yes in the same way moon takes only 29 days okay children and if you see did you know the time taken by the moon to complete one rotation is same as it takes one revolution around the earth okay here moon also revolves around itself okay as earth also revolves around itself this is called rotation of the earth the same rotation of the moon takes the same 29 days to complete okay so the time taken by the moon to complete one rotation is same as it takes one revolution around the earth that means very slowly it will turn it will revolve around itself it rotates around itself and it revolves around the earth so the time taken to complete one rotation for the moon and to one rotate one revolution around the earth is same that is 29 days okay children so this is about our topic for today i have given few keywords in your daily schedule please learn them write it in your class work and underline in your content book and if you find any other word difficult you can include in your keywords okay and learn them now coming to your question answers 
explain how phases of the moon occur so the moon revolves around the earth and only that part of the moon is visible where it it gets the light from the sun isn't it that's why we have different phases of the moon okay so write this answer in your classbook and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 38 s4 changing moon okay so with this we have completed with our block children so in the next class i'll meet you with the new block children see you in the next class bye